Using Tyvek is one of my main creative starters. It gets my artistic juices flowing. You will see in my ebook that making beads is just one of the things I use Tyvek for. Hi everyone, Patty here. Come and join me today as we explore the many possibilities with dangles for our journals. I will be using my accessory bundle I have on my Etsy site, which has three Tyvek beads already made for you, a wire wrap stick with Tyvek, plus a variety of beads and bulb pins. The button we will use later to make a faux wax seal. You have so many opportunities in your selection of beads. Think about what kind of combinations you want to put together. The sky is the limit. I have listed a few supplies that are not included in the kit, but will make it easier to make dangles. Use your eye pin or head pin and start arranging your beads onto the pin. I cut off a little Tyvek bead to get it to lay flat on the eye pin. This tool makes a loop on the end. I'll talk about it more in a little bit. I love this little tool for putting small holes into almost any type of material, including thin metals. It is called the Beadsmith Hole Punch, and you can get it in different size holes. Mine is a 1.5 millimeter, and I purchased it at my local bead store. Your kit comes with three tiles that are perfect for adding to your dangles. You can add a stamp on the back side of the tile if you want the tile to be double sided. One stamp comes in your kit. Add your bulb pin that comes in your kit to your tile. Add a little Distress Oxide ink around the edges. Take a jump ring and use pliers in each hand to open the end to add the other tile. Use pliers or flat nose pliers which are flat on the inside to help you get a good grip on the jump ring. If you're right-handed, you'll find it easier to hold the jump ring steady with the pliers in your left hand and do the twisting action with your right hand. When closing the jump ring, just pull it back toward you with the pliers. Close your jump ring where the wire ends are touching each other. These tiles are so much fun to make. Here's a teal tieback bead with a tile added to my journal. If you think you'd like to see how to make those tiles, leave a comment below. Keep stringing beads onto the head pins or eye pins. I'm just making a couple small dangles to go onto the tile jump ring. I add a jump ring so the small dangles will move freely on the dangle. My wire loop tool didn't close all the way, so I'm helping it with a pair of pliers to close tightly and will stay put on my jump ring. This tile will be with a bigger bead and a couple seed beads for a total of three dangles on the tile. You want to use an eye pin if you're going to add something to the loop that the loop tool makes or you can buy the eye pins already made with the loop on one end. Make 
make sure it's secure. Back to the other tile I had put, I put a bulb pin on it. I'm going to take some of the ribbon that comes in your kit. I cut off about three to six inches and tied it onto the bulb pin. If you cut the ribbon too short, it's too hard to tie onto the bulb pin. You can always cut the excess off after you've tied the knot, but it's too hard to try to tie a knot with too short of ribbon. Not all of my clasps and pieces are the same color, so I added a little gilding wax to the tips to give them all a cohesive look and antique them up a bit. Now for the tieback bead to add something to it. Just add an eye pin so I could put a charm on the end of it and a clasp at the top. These are so easy to make. We've made five different charms to add to our journal. I wanted to try to do a faux wax seal with a couple fancy buttons. So I heated up my glue gun and pulled out a Versa Magic ink pad to cover the button. This will act as a resist on the glue and it will help pull the warm glue off easier from the button. I used the pliers to dab the buttons into the ink and then into the hot glue. I'm using a packaging freezer paper to put the hot glue onto, thinking it will peel off the waxy surface. Add a generous glob of glue onto the freezer paper and insert your button into the hot glue using the pliers so you don't burn your fingers. Don't press it down too far into the glue, but you do want a good contact. I did this with four different buttons that had a nice pattern on the tops. You will get one button in your kit that will work great for making these. It will need to be partially dry before you try to take the button off or it won't come off the hot glue. After I made all four of my button impressions and it was cool to the touch, I removed the button from the glue. The flatter buttons worked better than the rounded dome shape, but both made good impressions. That one stuck a little bit. It just wasn't quite cool enough, but I could still wipe it right off the button. I decided to try putting the glue onto wax paper, but this stuck to the wax paper also, which I really don't mind a little on the bottom, so I can add the gilding wax to the bottom to add depth to my glue. Any Versamark watermark ink stamp pad would work. I did not try Vaseline, but I think it would work also on the button to make a resist. liking how these turned out. I love the gilding wax added to the color of to change the color of the glue. I 
I've rubbed it all over the front, the back, the sides. Some of them I even used a couple colors on too. Use what colors you have and what would look good with your journal that you're making. I had to rip them off the wax paper and it didn't work as well as the freezer paper. But the glue is soft enough that you can trim right around them and cut the glue and make the shape any shape you'd like. Cut all the wax paper off that ripped off of it. This glue can be cut with a pair of scissors and trim them to any shape you like. Maybe you want it to be square shape versus a rounded shape. It trims very easily. I tried several different gilding waxes I have to color the faux wax seals. I rubbed it down into the creases and all over the back side also. The finger tool works great, but gilding wax on the fingers is hard to get off. I should have put gloves on, but never think about that till after the fact. The square shaped one, I wanted it to be square, so I just cut the glue off around the edges when I was cutting the wax paper off the back side. You won't be able to really see that wax paper stuck on there. Watch the flip through of my final journal and how I use these and adding them to the pages of my journal. Here I just added a little bit more of a highlight of another color of the wax. I hope you enjoyed this video and make some dangles and blobs for your next journal. Have a great day!